facciatore Ora, tre. performance no. ok hi all welcome to the stream holy saint night and this will be talking about the real warhammer 40k dawn of war 3 so here is the thing i was just playing the dawn of war 2 elite mode uh, with one versus one against a very uh, another pro there we had a great game very few mistakes made by both uh, both of us very good fights and here is what happens at one moment i don't look at uh, my raptor squad he was space marine i was uh, house space marines and uh, at one moment i just look at something else and my raptors died it's okay this is how i mean this game don't know what to do is the retail one but this isn't how like i said uh, warhammer is so don't worry about Dawn of War 2 and 3 being failures, we're gonna get the real Warhammer 40k when Total War Warhammer 40k gets released. Uh, Dawn of War 1 is good, it's, uh, it's uh, actually correct Warhammer made uh, 40k, you don't lose the squads with a single grenade. Okay, that's the ridiculous old frag grenades, killing vehicles. It happens in Dawn of War 2 because of the game mechanics. So guys, and that was a great game until this happened, which was a totally unacceptable, I just um, looked at something else uh, around uh, for one moment, and bam, I lost the squad, which if I recall I had it to retreat, but the order wasn't given, sometimes uh, it's tax, it also doesn't cap uh, the points sometimes, so after the failures of Dawn of War 2 and 3 which were truly it's uh, it's not paper soldiers guys this is uh, Warhammer 40k it's uh, units don't die I mean for that to happen units need to get hit by uh, Imperial Knight for example and, the, and then again, some uh, s s some of the models, some of the squad members will be still alive. So don't worry about Warhammer. Uh, that we d we don't have a Warhammer Dawn of War uh, two and three. Three is the parkour is a total failure, guys. Okay, it's that simple. It doesn't exist. Dawn of War three. This power core mod is it's total trust and the seal generators. I understand why they did it and they tried to. The game developers did a really good job actually because they had to defend the power core, which is the undefensible. The power core, the power core is such a stupid game mode, it's trust. Okay, everybody, everyone hates it, it's trust. The rest of the game is uh, good, I mean, the uh, how the factions are, and even the seals, uh, the, sealed, uh, the seals that units get, these are good, it represents well how tough units are depending on the faction. But guys, this parkour is trash, so don't worry about, don't, I advise you so you don't get mad, don't play Dawn of War uh, 2 and 3, just ignore them, go for the Dawn of War 1 modes and uh, because you don't need anything else and uh, I swear to god guys this uh, this game was so good uh, I, w I wanted to upload it and then this happens and uh, the game still lasted a long uh, time but uh, you know losing uh, a rap that a crucial squad like it's uh, paper like it's made of paper well uh, that's and uh, I had a sparring champion on the raptor squad with the uh, heavy melee the, the mole that he gets and uh, he was just there to and just instantly got deleted because I just looked at I guess a grenade was must have been thrown as well as plasma shots 
but it it instantly got deleted and I remember I give I gave the retreat order I don't know what happened sometimes the order isn't given so screw Dawn of War 2 and 3 we're gonna get Total War Warhammer 40k which is gonna be the Dawn of War 3 and also let me tell you something Dawn of War 2 is like uh, what Total War Warhammer in a sense that you only have the stronghold to summon units but apart that when you go to the final tier I mean uh, when you get you are maxed in a sense if you lose uh, do I have a campaign? I have this outdated campaign which I as you saw also I deleted uh, I deleted my campaigns of Warhammer 3 because they were, they were, uh, I mean it was prior when it was the anti-player bias which got removed, but uh, still guys, uh, it was, uh, I know I had good fights and uh, you told me why I removed them, well, uh, I didn't make it through the campaign. I was just uh, staying alive, so and I didn't have a single soul on uh, the one that lasted long, so I didn't care to continue it. Uh, the Mortal Empire would be great if they fix the campaign. Yeah, if they fix it, and uh, you only. Dragon Lord. You only the player, the, the human players are a able dragon. to. Let me see what you get. In human form. Only the human players are able to enter the milestone. Master then this would be a cool fire. campaign. But if they Let don't, screw it. Daughter of the celestial. Let me see what's going. Uh, I, I don't have it. Ruler of the motherland. To win the quest battle to free. Okay, yeah, I need to make the achievement. Worship. Oh, uh, these guys uh, don't go well with uh, the voice of Gislev's gods. But they go well, uh, but these guys go well. Absolute with I hope you are able to. I hope you are able to confederate them now after all these new patches. Demons of Chaos still can't confederate each other. This world will burn. Sadly, they can. So as I was saying, uh, don't worry about not having a Dawn of War 40k game, guys. We still have Dawn of War 1, which is uh, all that we need. Uh, and we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get uh, the War Hat Total War Warhammer 40k. Which would be like the Dawn of War, uh, like what the players like, Dawn of War 2 and 1, in a sense. I mean, the 2 currently is like uh, a total war, but like I said, it's uh, RTS because you just level up your stronghold. Uh, Dawn of War 1, Dawn of War 3 even, uh, with the good engine, I mean. So, we're gonna get... Uh, what we want and it's gonna multiplayer is gonna be great but uh, like i said we need huge maps for this game huge battle maps ma battle maps the map as you see if i go to battles i go to versus AI. the maps here these guys that load now for example the any map any map that i pick uh, it's supposed to be not demons. What the fuck? Arm setup. Okay, and uh, yeah, what's the AI? Ah, kingdoms. It's gonna be when I, uh, like I said, when. Unit scale large. Okay. When you start the battle, it's gonna be. It needs to be big, big ones. 
Like what you gonna see here? Like four times this map. Think about this this map that we're gonna start now, which is a typical medium sized map. It's a typical uh, map. The, the size I mean <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm very tired I need to sleep Τι γίνεται εδώ ρε Έχω σημάχους Α καλά Okay guys I didn't understand I have allies I just started the battle and You know I didn't pay attention to To What I Factions are put. Besides, I don't care to fight the battle. I'm just gonna show you what I mean by map size of the battles. When you, you know, in uh, you start the battle in Total War Warhammer 40k, not this one. For this one, the map size is pretty big. It's good. But we're talking about the 40k here. Now the 40k map, the size of it would be four times this map think about this four times like a big square four times this square which is a bigger square something like that maybe even bigger no maybe because you got all these long jump troops these uh, long fire long range firepower units and the titans imperial knights in not titans but imperial knights fighting from there so all this battle filled four times that and if maybe even more but you know that's just an assumption For the and did they add the fl they need to add the hotkey for landing guys no idea why they haven't added it <sighs> also they need to give uh, great and clean one a bonus versus infantry on his attacks, the great and clean on the bloodthirster is fine with the bonus versus large. It makes perfect sense because this uh, this axe is using. It's like uh, it's like uh, it's like a polar uh, in a sense. Huge to have double sided axe. <coughs> so. So as I said, uh, four times this, uh, and even more, I, they will make it, uh, okay, I'm just telling how it should be. So this, uh, ah, there it is, my ally, defenders and attackers, okay, so that's it. We need to be, they need to be big. So we're gonna get the dawn of war we we want all this time. So don't worry about dawn of war uh, 2 and 3 being, uh, they are, uh, dawn of war 3, I mean, the whole gameplay is good. It's just that the power core ruined it. I mean, it even ruined it for me. I don't like this uh, mode at all. It's... Uh, I have no idea how it came for them and make a power core mode. I have no idea, seriously guys, no idea how it came to them and just added the power core. That was just, uh, that was, uh, that was the most, one of the stupidest things, uh, negative IQ things you get to see in life, you don't often see it, I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know how the power core got into the game, but who is first, let me see, okay, uh, okay, so there is no, from what I can see, it, that did from what I, I can see, uh, 
There is no... Okay, how do I have to go to the bar? Ah, there is no... There is no... how you pick uh, what kind of mode you fight domination or or it domination is the default i guess domination is default here no idea anyway we're gonna get the, the because that replay guys that i just uh, that it went so bad after uh, losing it into a and it was full health squad it just uh, died into, it was not that uh, I just, you know, I was, I felt a bit uh, pain in my back and then I look, turn around and see that the squad gone. So that was so horrible because uh, it ruined the entire replay. So guys, don't worry about Dawn of War 3. We're gonna get Total War Warhammer 40k, so we're gonna have all the Dawn of Wars we missed all this time we're gonna get it get them from Warhammer 40k think about it tanks uh, tanks uh, Imperial Knights uh, Centurions all this good stuff they're gonna be in uh, available once we get Warhammer 40k and all the spells of course so don't worry about uh, Dawn of War, don't bother with Dawn of War 2 and 3, ignore them, don't need to mess up your mood, ruin your mood. We're gonna get them with Warhammer 40k, so it's all good. So thanks all for watching guys, be well, and see you in the next cast then. I mean, that replay loss was so horrible. It just ruined the entire game, the battles were so good. I had no idea who was going to win, but after this happened, well, in this kind of games, if you lose something, which is totally... In Dawn of War 2 and 2, not that much on 3, but on 2, if you lose one unit, you are... I mean, if you lose it in a big fight when you have to uh, you control it, well, then this happened, but if you lose it and uh, like that, out of a sudden and you units there drop like flies because the squad has three to four members for example of the tactical marines if you lose one uh, unit right there uh, which can happen in a second in two seconds you can lose a unit well then in a sense you are very much behind and all that because of a split of a second you didn't pay uh, much attention you were, you were paying attention to something else, I mean, Dawn of War 2, totally, totally not a Warhammer game. Anyway, thanks all for watching guys, be well and see you in the next cast.